Okay, so we've designed, rendered, animated our ring. The next step is the file preparation for 3D printing. Okay, we're back in Jurica Dream. We're just going to make a few preparations prior to the fixing and then the print of our model. First thing I want to do is add some pre-cuts. Now, depending on your manufacture process, you may like having pre-cuts or you may not. We'll also add a bit of text in here just so that we can show the resolution that our printer has. So we've made a few tweaks to our model now, we've add out, added out pre-cuts and inserted a bit of text in there. We're now going to export this as an STL file and that's the file type that our 3D printers will read. Okay, we have file fixing software that we need to run the STL file through after exporting it. Okay, and we have this integrated into JuryCAD Dream, it's called our Bulletproof Booleans. Okay. Now this uses the limit state fix standalone software to automatically fix our STL file and create a watertight STL for printing. Okay, but I'm going to show you this fixing process in the standalone software itself, just so that we can see these steps and better understand what's actually happening. Because our bulletproof booleans add-on automates the entire process. So first of all, we're going to export STL file type. We have our file loaded up into limit state now. Okay, it's very simple to use this piece of software. I'm just going to simplify the model first to reduce the number of data points. And this is going to make the file size smaller. Then we can hit auto fix. It's going to fix all of our issues, make the model watertight, manifold. Okay, and then it'll be ready for 3D printing. Some more complicated files may require a few run throughs of the auto fix. This is simple, so one will suffice. Okay, it's fixed now, we see there's no more issues. We can just do a save as of this model. I usually just overwrite the original file and then we have our fixed STL file ready to send to the printer.